Hey everyone, this is Nick from Mecca Warehouse and uh, today we've got just a real quick video to talk about the repaired contest. The deadline for submission was on Friday. We've got our entries in. Uh, in fact, we've got 30 entries. I was a little bit surprised about the number. I really suspected we'd have a lot more entries based on last year. Uh, but I think the number is lower for two reasons uh, in retrospect when I think about it and kind of analyze what was going on. Uh, number one, I think the repaired theme is a little bit more challenging. You can tell me what you think about that, but uh, compared to Grunt Destruction, uh, definitely need a few more skills to produce a good repaired entry, I think. And number two, repaired uh, is going on now in a more normal-ish year compared to last year. The uh, Grunt Destruction contest did take place at the end of the summer last year. And so people had kind of the summer to work on their builds when everybody was stuck at home. And uh, I should have kind of thought about that, that that would have made a big difference in everybody's uh, availability and, and spare time for things like this. But I do want to talk about uh, the contest in a little more detail. Specifically, I'm going to talk about prizes, extra prizes specifically, the, uh, the judges, the timeline, and then show off the entries we got and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, in terms of prizes, Bluefin uh, Distribution, one of our suppliers, basically the main distributor for the United States, sent us a total of 10 prizes or put a list or something up here so you can kind of see what they sent, but there was some, some good stuff. And we plan on distributing that uh, kind of a little bit based on results and a little bit of random luck. So we've already got really big prizes for first, second, and third. First place was like $500 gift card. Second place, I think, was like 200, 250, something like that. So we got some really big prizes for our first, uh, first, second, and third place prizes for this uh, contest. What we're gonna do is let our fourth place person pick two items off the uh, the list of items from Bluefin. Uh, people who place fifth through eighth will also get a pick from that list, and then. Anybody who makes it to the top 16, uh, we're gonna basically randomly draw and assign those four people, or the remaining four prizes, uh, a chance for one of those people. So we'll let them pick as well from whatever is left. And obviously whoever places the highest will get the, the pick first. And then the people like fifth through eighth will just randomly select who gets the pick next kind of thing. So that way we'll get some, some more prizes. And so basically anybody who places in the top eighth Top eight are gonna get something, and uh, top 16, which is basically like half, are gonna get something as well. So let's talk about judging. We've got five judges lined up for this contest. I'm gonna just talk about each of them briefly, ask them to send me some notes, things to uh, kind of highlight for them, uh, about them, things like that. So first up, we've got D. Hoskins Gunpla. He, uh, he's been a customer for a very long time. I feel like I've known him pretty well, uh, but the most notable points that uh, he sent my way is that one he was uh, raised by unicorns and kittens uh, he started the hobby on the third day of creation and he's built over 100 models for what that's worth uh, next up big daddy gundam he's been in the hobby actually for 21 years which is kind of crazy uh, but if you've seen any of his content what he is most about or most known uh, known for is uh doing chibi boxes he uh, makes little tiny versions of you know Gumpla boxes, things like that. Uh, and you might have even seen one of his own contest wins on one of the CG Builders contests, Everyday Life with a Gundam. And uh, he's got this really cool uh, display he built that is basically like a hobby room, essentially, but scaled down, which is kind of crazy. Next up is Funko Cop. Met him down in Virginia a couple years ago when I uh, went down for uh, that ODO show down there, the Old Dominion Open. He's been building since 2018. He's built uh, roughly over 80 kits and doing some really cool stuff content-wise. Justinius Builds, uh, you might have caught a couple of the videos that we we did where we took content from uh, Justin. He's been building Gunpla and Scale models for over 10 years. Uh, and you can find his YouTube channel with over 200 tutorials and work in progress videos. He's definitely done some crazy stuff. He was also down at ODO. I think he, he placed in that show, which uh, he's, he's been doing some really crazy stuff. And finally, Nickel Models, another, uh, another person I met down at ODO. Uh, he's been a sponsored builder well before that, though. He's placed in various IPMS competitions, 
Uh, he's been building and painting for the better part of the last seven years and uh, has also spent the last two to three years scratch building and customizing as well. He's done some, some crazy work. So that kind of rounds out our pool of judges. And uh, if any of them need to be sequestered for some reason, I'll jump in and weigh in as well. Um, finally, let's talk about timeline. So basically the way this contest is working is we are going to do uh, public voting to seed a bracket. This is a bracket competition. So the, uh, the public voting went live the moment this video went live here on YouTube and is going to be open until midnight on Friday the 12th or 11.59 p.m. Uh, basically Eastern time. And uh, we're going to use that public voting. So if you've got a build in the contest, share it with your friends, make sure they go vote for you. And uh, everybody else should go over there and vote for your favorite entries as well. You can give one vote to any of the builds that you like and uh, whichever entries have the most votes will be seeded the highest in the bracket, meaning that the, the early rounds, the high seeds are going to basically go up against the low seeds. Uh, and that will help make sure that hopefully the best resulting kits or the best kits will make it towards the end of the competition. Uh, once we have those entries starting on uh, Monday the 15th, we will be publishing the, the bracket that we derive from those public vote results. And then from there, we will be doing uh, roughly four matches, eight models, give or take, each day until we've narrowed it down to the finals. And I expect to have the final results on Wednesday, November 24th. We'll be posting on our social media results and winners, so make sure you follow us on Instagram, uh, at Mecca Warehouse, uh, and we'll try to put some of the results on some of the other platforms as well. So... That's basically all the details for the contest and everything that's going on for voting and moving forward and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna show you the rest of these or all of the entries here. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time, later.